Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. As you guys all know, we're in lockdown and we're going through difficult times. It has been 10 days here in Bangladesh, but I know you guys are doing perhaps more uh, like days drill, being stuck at home, you know, um, having difficulties. But I think uh, we are trying to find new contents as fragrance YouTube uh, content creators. And always I think of something that can be a little bit unique or fun or something you can appreciate and try to put few fragrance in one video so it will be fun for you so today this concept i actually have to say i'm very very sorry uh, i am very lazy and then i think becoming old forgetting a lot of stuff one of my brothers he uh, wrote it on my group so i was scrolling down but i lost that post because so many posts recently and he requested me brother can you do most uh, top, top 10 of your most favorite uh, bottle designs and I had this idea I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's like I thought of it doing it it was in my list but then when he said it I'm like damn you know like you know so I told him like brother I was thinking the same so please brother I'm so sorry I'll post it in the group uh, please mention it <laughs> under the video I just lost that um, post somewhere so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you not 10 not 20 I think a lot more 26 27 I forgot but I'm gonna show you all very quickly and I'll show you some of my most favorite bottle designs in my collection. There are plenty more, but uh, these are some of the ones looks really nice because, you know, like the bottle design, it's very important part of a fragrance. How the presentation looks affects the way you feel about a perfume. Let's say you're not a perfume geek or perfume uh, specialist. When you go to the mall, what will attract your eyes are the bottle designs. You know, like when you look at it and you'll be like, wow, that is interesting. I would like to have that, you know, because it's like, you know, even if you know like more expensive Baikillian fragrances or Church of, uh, they charge you for the full presentation at least hundred dollars more. So the presentation they uh, put invest money. So the thing is, yeah, these are some of my favorite. I don't have the most 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 <laughs> most <laughs> most uh, rich collection, but most of the bottles are gonna be designer. So among them, I'm gonna show you some of my favorites, and these are just fun in no particular order. So let me show one by one very quickly. Uh, first I'm showing you is Aqua Amara. Anything from this line, the specialty of these lines are how unique these bottles look. Um, they come in 50, 100 and I think 15 ml small bottles. Uh, these ones have built in atomizers here and these look like when you cannot make them stand without a stand. So you have to keep it like this. Looks like a water uh, droplet or pebble. Okay, Very nice, smooth, unique bottle with a beautiful sprayer. So, do not think like this fragrance, all of them are really awesome in terms of smell. Some of them are good, some of them are okay, some of them are really awesome. But just the bottle design, okay? First one is Aquamara. Looks really nice. You need to get one of these in your collection. Second one I'm going to show you, Versace Manu Fresh. I was going to show you Versace Man, but I think this color combination, I really like. This is so beautiful to look at. The bottle, it's light blue in color. When you hold it like from these angles, when you take like your DSLR and take them some nice pictures in like a sunny day on the beach or like somewhere you know like out there this looks really lovely the juice color isn't blue but evokes the feel of blue so something by the beach ocean and the cap is not glass it's plastic but it goes nicely with the bottle and this one you know is one of my most favorite summer fragrances freshy lemon kind of like a star fruit uh, yeah, kind of like a very nice zesty kind of fragrance, but the bottle design, really, I love it. I will always have this in my collection. Versace Menu Fresh. <clears throat> Next one I'm gonna show you, people make fun of this bottle a lot. They call this a butt plug. And I never used one in my life, so I can, I do not know what they do, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's, it goes in the wrong place. <laughs> so uh, I don't feel that way about this perfume. I think it's more like a lamp. And this is the fragrance. This is Rocha's Man or Roca's Man or Roja's Man. Uh, this is a very interesting bottle. I really like it. It looks like a lamp, lava lamp. One thing, if you put it like this and the juice level goes down, it's very sad. But when you hold it like this, yeah, I still have some juice left. So this is Rocha's very sweet fragrance, gourmand fragrance, chocolatey. And then here it looks like it can almost flash a light or something like that. Very nice. It looks like a shark tooth also. Okay. Very nice uh, bottle. I really like this. I just got it for the bottle. They have detailing all over. So I really like Rocha's man. I think this is one of the most awesome frosted glass bottle in the collection. So Rocha's man, the aka the butt plug. So <laughs> next one I want to show you is, some of this bottle may look like simple to you, but special to me. Next one is Prada Amber. Prada Amber, what's special about these bottles? Few things, one is the juice color. I really love this juice color. It's very eye-catching, lavender, purple color. 
says Prada, and then they have this very premium metal plate. They give you the ingredients, and the atomizer is at the side. Very, very cool presentation. I just love how this bottle looks. The sprayer is like a laser. So if you hold it from the bottom or side, see how awesome this looks. Very heavy, solid class quality from Prada, Prada Amber. Next is a fragrance. It's from House of uh, D Squared. This is D Squared, any bottle you get. They all look awesome because they have this beautiful glass bottle inside. Then the atomizer, atomizer is at the side with that big cap with a dwarfy little atomizer. I really like that. It's cute. Then it's uh, not very heavy, but they have this woody, real wood has been used in these bottles, which is awesome. And these are two part, you know, like presentation. So I think this is one of the most niche or high class presentation I find in a bottle. This has violets and stuff like that, very nice fragrances. And you can get Rocky Mountain Wood, they have a few other flankers, but this is one of my most favorite bottle designs in the game. This is D-squared, he wood. Next one is a discontinued perfume. I shouldn't describe the smell actually because I'm showing the bottle, okay. Let's just go, Givenchy once again. This is uh, Givenchy's uh, Very Resistible for Men. First thing as you can tell, it's green and black. And then up there, it's a built-in atomizer and it sprays from here, there's no cap. So do not try to pull it off. Second thing awesome about this is the green juice color. You know, it looks so beautiful. It looks like kryptonite, right? Yes, I think kryptonite, yeah, kryptonite. And the juice is just something to look at. It doesn't take up so much space. It's tall bottle. I like very resistible, very beautiful bottle. Next is a bottle. I really like it for just the bottle. It's like, reminds me of five, six stars hotels. This is Ralph Lauren Safari, I think, or Polo Safari, either one. I think Ralph Lauren. So this bottle is just like a whiskey bottle and it reminds you of being in a, literally a five-star hotel, you know, in a safari garden or safari park or something like that. Um, very masculine fragrance, by the way, but just the juice color is just so stunning. People keep these bottles in their, I think, like washroom or bathroom just for the, you know, like beauty of the bottle. Look at the design that has, you know really lovely and the juice color it's very attractive okay reminds me of sort of whiskey bottle so Ralph Lauren Safari some of the bottles I sold off so I don't have some of the most unique ones but I had a few more next one Thierry Mugle Angel I was gonna show you some Amen bottles but I think this is the one that is really cool it gives you the star you guys know this is the classic and they have detailing all over Thierry Mugle at the side built-in atomizer here it comes out from here and the just the bottle that the effort they made just to make this bottle just astonishing and the juice color will change over the time it will get darker and darker uh, really beautiful bottle Thierry Mugle Angel next is one of the most fun bottles I think uh, <laughs> I really love this house it's a very fun house and this house is called Moschino Moschino makes some of the most uh, like some people say weird and funky and some of the most because some people cannot take them because they're so weird but I dig them Moschino Fresh Couture Get any of the couture's gold couture, this couture, or pink couture. Uh, if you get the pink one, that looks lovely. That juice color is so stunning. But this one, it's a Windex bottle. Okay, it doesn't spray from here. If you're wondering, no, it doesn't. It's a cap, but the fragrance, you know, like it's it's also stunning. But the juice color, the bottle, one of the most beautiful bottles in my collection. Fresh couture by Moschino. Next is a classic fragrance. I really love it. It's conceptually so cool. This is Bijan for men. Uh, what Joey Tribbiani was selling one of our brothers said in the group so it has a very awesome bottle uh, this one it's like a donut and this is like a golf ball or uh, let's say uh, what do you call like a, when you put coffee on top of that you put like extra uh, what's the thing like cream or something so it looks like that but one uh, coolest feature of this bottle is it's it's like divided here there's like a glass uh, separation part here so it doesn't juice doesn't move from here it moves from top okay when you hold it like this yeah it does move and you can play with it all day if I give it to the kids they can play just to balance it uh, very nice a very classic fragrance gentlemanly very long-lasting oak moss fragrance really love it it's very up class it's it's as good as Roja Dove Roja Dove has a fragrance smells like this okay so this is Bijan for men very nice even okay there you go next is a fragrance another classic gentleman's fragrance i love this this is jaipur by boucheron so they have an edp they have edt and they have a fresh version three 
So what's cool about this bottle, some people might find it very, very dated, but this one is actually representing a temple or something like that in India. I think the city of Jaipur. And the cap, it goes like in the top of the building or something like that. And they have actually uh, one ring. Boucheron makes rings, they have jewelry. They have a ring that looks like that, it's with gold and then I think some stone, very expensive. So very, very cool concept, you know. I love this perfume, but I really like this bottle too. If you're a little bit mature gentleman, you'll love this bottle in your collection. Jaipur by Boucheron. Next is a bottle, I think I just love it. I think many people hate it, but I love it. This is One Million by Pakuraman. When it came out first, everybody wanted it just for the bottle. They make some of the most uh, ridiculous bottles, but they actually work. Gold, bling, bling, they work. Uh, I have almost all of them that I wanted. The new perfume version, I'm yet to get, but this conceptually, this is like a gold bar, okay? So it has sprayer, built-in sprayer, atomized, this is a 200 ml, looks even bigger. And the bottle, if you buy the absolutely gold, you get like whole bottle painted in gold and stuff like that, very nice. So I love one million bottle, hands down one of my most favorite fragrance of all time. Let's go from this side once again. Next bottle I'm gonna show you, uh, Mustache EDP by once again, I think Rochas, yes. This bottle, it's so freaking heavy. You, if you do not hold it, you do not know the quality of the bottle. The glass here is super thick. If you drop it on your foot, you might be disabled. And I really like the cheeky sticker they give. It's very cheesy. You know, it's like a 70s porn star, you know, with that mustache. <laughs> and the cap, it's pure quality. It's heavy. Very, very good presentation. The juice color looks lovely, like a whiskey. And my dear brother, Kevin Moray from Scotland, I think he said, this looks like a... Apart from this, it looks like a very classy whiskey glass. Okay, I do, do agree with that. Very nice, very, very good quality glass. Rokas Mustache. Next is the fragrance, perhaps one of the best bottles, everything best in this bottle. And no one makes this classy bottle. They try to copy, but this is the best. This is Durham line. I like Durham Intense, but I'm showing Durham Parfum because the juice color is really rich. Um, this one, the juice color is very, very rich. And then they have a heavy, thick glass base very good quality cap with a lot of detailing like cd everywhere and the sprayer is some of the best sprayers in the game so i love Duron bottles Duron perform i think looks 100 ml looks awesome next theory mugle this is one of my favorite bottles this is angel muse so if you buy the 100 ml that's that's the only time you get like a version that actually stands on its own usually the 30 50 ml smaller bottles will you have to sit it like this but check it out inside it looks like a spacecraft from different universe or something like aliens who travel in this so angel muse it, the juice color also very beautiful it's kind of like a sweet caramelized kind of fragrance if you like sweet playful perfumes it's unisex for me comes with a cap really nice spread i like angel muse one of the most beautiful bottles and unique too <clears throat> next is moschino once again you guys know what's coming up this is the bear some people will be like Ugh. You know, bread stocks will be like, bro, the bear. Yeah, I like the bear. What can I say? I love Ted, the movie. It's so hilarious. And I associate this one, even my, I have a toy too. These fragrance bottles, are, I find them very cute. So this one, Toy Boy, it's sup supposed to be like a little bit kinky, right? That's what I like about it. It's dark. It's a kinky bottle, you know? So I like it a lot. I mean, this is one of the most unique bottles, huge bottle, you know, with the cap, you know? Very nice fragrance too, okay? Definitely one of the best release in the last 10 years. Moschino, Toy, Boy. <clears throat> Next, Ferrari. Uh, I don't think it's called Ferrari. So I heard um, Italians or French, whoever, they say Ferrari. I don't know. I do not know how to say it, but Ferrari, okay? This bottle seems simple, right? Uh, this looks like any other bottle, but look at the juice color. This is leather essence. I love this the most, okay? And then there's a white bottle. I think that is a musk but the juice color in this is super thick you know it's like leather kind of like a boozy color juice and here what makes it special from other bottles is the stitching on the leather this is super super soft it feels like literally we're in the ferrari car and then you see the ferrari logo they have stitching all over can you imagine the amount of detailing in this this bottle i just wanted for the bottle i love this perfume as well i think uh, many people love this fragrance as well uh, I love this perfume bottle, Ferrari Leather Essence from the House of Ferrari. <clears throat> Next, I have to show you one of these uh, bottles, okay? I'm showing you the most favorite one so far. This is Spice Bomb, and this is the Night Vision. So what I like about Night Vision, all the bottles are cool. Original, the fresh, and even I have that back, you see the extreme, they're all good. 
but I'm just showing you this one because it features kind of like a green neon sort of a thing and uh, not neon it's like a, I don't know what this represents like a very cool like a, like a night vision sort of a thing going on here and I think when you take it out it looks like really like you can throw it a grenade or something very cool bottles okay so spice bomb definitely get one of these bottles looks awesome in your collection very beautiful <clears throat> give me a sec yeah sorry my voice getting a little bit dry because <clears throat> just woke up while ago i have to have coffee so uh next bottle it's so awesome i i'll just be shameless and say this i bought this fragrance for the bottle i know this fragrance gets a lot of uh, bashing for not being a performer this house also people say doesn't last but to me you know fragrances are all about the quality and the uniqueness of a smell this one right here john barbito's dark rebel rider you know they have all these bottles in this line they are awesome they all of them are so awesome you can get any of these bottles but this one especially i like leather and this one has features this fake leather i don't know but this has this chain like leather jacket you can take it out and it will reveal a bottle inside and check out that cap i mean if this house if you do not own a bottle i suggest you get one even the other ones fresh ones you see they look awesome this one i forgot the name john barbito's artisan blue i think yeah check out these bottles i mean like how creative they became you know like i just think these are awesome you know and they are not very expensive so kudos to uh john barbados this is uh like dark rebel rider next two are very kinky <laughs> i mean very cheesy sorry this is david of champion and this looks like as you can tell it looks like a dumbbell and that's what is to motivate people who work out in gym young guys but it's actually a very pleasant fragrance and it has a lot of pepper it has uh freshness like grapefruit i think and uh, <clears throat> it goes on for a very long time very long lasting perfume so people do not talk about this another white uh, fresh or sport version i forgot but these bottles i really like it not very heavy though but very awesome bottle david of champion next one let me show you another weird bottle <laughs> this was a gift from her you know like I have this since 2017, I think. Uh, this is called Decibel by Azaro. You can see this is a mic, and this is a built-in atomizer. You just press here, it will spray, okay? Very awesome, right? And you just, you know, you can see if you're a mu fan of music and stuff, you can see through the juice also. You can definitely try it out. It's one of the best licorice-based fragrances in the market. At first, it's a little bit uh, strong, a little bit synthetic, but on dry down, very beautiful. It, it is like CK1 Red on dry down very nice you can get this a fresh licorice fragrance okay this is a azaro decibel we have five left next one let me show you one of my most older fragrance in my collection uh this is a new bottle but i used it since my university days this is diesel they make some awesome bottles this feast now they have a lot of flankers okay under this bottle but different coloration so this is diesel uh only the brave i think yeah uh, there's one bottle uh, I think uh, diesel fuel for life or something I love that as well but I will buy it I'll show you so only the brave features this knuckle like you know like a fist and they have this cap really nice and then kind of like a ring or a tattoo sort of a thing really love these bottles you know like awesome just you need to try them out you'll see it looks so awesome okay very nice perfume too unique diesel only the brave next I'm gonna show you all the cheesy bottles today Carolina Herrera this is bad boy i think yeah bad boy good girl good boy no i think it's bad boy yeah so i had that good girl i gave it away to my gf and she has my bottle now i can show you that that was definitely going to make the list instead of this but the good girl i love that bottle i bought it just for the bottle what a beautiful smell okay so this one i think also looks like thunderbolt or flash and it it it's it conceptually so cool you know like you don't see bottles like this you see this in a counter or shop you'll go near and you would like to try it out because it looks awesome right so i really love this bottle actually now it grew on me i love the sprayer as well really big sprayer okay bad boy by carolina herrera next three are some of the best bottles also you know in my collection midnight in paris this hands down i think um i can safely say this is the most beautiful bottle that i ever bought you know it's rare now more expensive but this one's like check it out i mean they have like their watches like van cleef and arpels i think they have watches or like they make clocks also they are in literally museums super expensive that it's 
insane you know it's more expensive than luxury cars 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 so midnight in paris what it features is like this uh, like a oval shape like sort of like a i don't know dome shaped crystal on the watches and stuff that you get and <clears throat> it has like kind of like a milky way sort of thing it has two tone color with the juice color so very beautiful bottle and i really like detailing on the sides there's also edp but i think i like the big edt 125 mil midnight in paris by van cleef and arpels next two next one is really lovely i got it back because of the bottle this is abercrombie and fitch first instinct the ripple effect on the bottle it looks like water you know on the lake juice color is lovely and then this uh, very premium the metal uh, plate at the side looks really awesome so the fragrance is also very lovely for summer i think it's a very fruity tropical uh, ozonic kind of fragrance really fun fragrance okay love this first instinct by abercrombie and fitch last but not least this is also one of the best bottles i don't know how they made it uh, i think chris fouquet a few days back reminded me thank you so much chris uh, this is a bottle i would say it's a masterpiece of a fragrance too check this out okay have you seen anything like it i mean if you haven't seen it this is lancome hypnos for men i think these are harder to find now i think these are 75 mil yes 75 mil bottles and 50 ml they come in just the detailing all over i mean i only guy i saw talked about it i think mark who said this is going to be next hype like 5 6 years back but it never became a big hype but trust me guys if you are fan of sophisticated fragrances that are mysterious long lasting and you like uh, lamal but you don't find sophisticated that one sophisticated this is sophisticated okay they have ballads they have a lot of other notes check out my review i think this is one of the best looking bottles in my collection just stunner okay this is lancome hypnos um okay so that's about it these are the few fragrances i as you can see a lot of them so it took a little bit time so uh, let me know which are your some of your most favorite bottle designs okay i know by kilians are awesome i don't own them so i would show you like rolling in love is really nice uh, I think Roja Dove there, some of the presentation looks awesome. The niche, some of them, they have really good presentation. But these are some of my favorites, okay? Take care, guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the support. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.